Here's a topic in thermodynamics that is often very misunderstood. It's called the free expansion. And the way that works is, let's say we have a big box right here with a perhaps a membrane or something dividing the box into two halves. Let's say that on this side we have a vacuum and on the other side we have gas at a particular pressure at some temperature and of course taking up the volume of half the box. So when the membrane is burst so that now the gas can freely travel between the two halves and then of course after a very short while the gas will equally fill both sides uh, with the same amount of gas on both sides um, how much work is done? What is the change in internal energy and so forth? So what is the delta U equal to? What is of course the work done equal to? And what is the heat exchange equal to? And just so we are based here, we have the first law of thermodynamics. The change in internal energy is equal to the heat added to the gas minus the work done by the gas. And of course, let's not forget PV equals NRT. So how do we figure that out? Well, first of all, has the internal energy changed? Well, that can only happen if the temperature changes because the delta U is equal to N C sub V delta T. Now, if this thing was very insulated so that no heat is, ex is exchanged between the outside and the inside, that the only action that's taking place is inside the box, then if no heat can be added to the system, then the temperature cannot change. So therefore, we can say that T1 is equal to T2. And if that is the case, then we can go back over here and say that delta U is equal to zero. So that takes care of this part right here. Now when we use the first law of thermodynamics that says that delta U is equal to Q minus W, and therefore zero is equal to Q minus W, that means the work done is equal to the heat added to the gas. But we just said that we had insulated this very well, that means that no heat can be added to the gas. That means Q is probably zero. Another way of also looking at it is when we break the membrane and gas can travel over here, since this is a vacuum, it's not pushing against anything. And since the walls are firm and they can move, the volume of that box is not being expanded. So another way of looking at, it, at that is that work also has to be zero. So it makes sense then that also Q is equal to zero and therefore work is equal to zero. And we can then see that in a free expansion, the temperature stays the same, Q is equal to zero, and the amount of work done is equal to zero. Now, what does change, of course, is the volume. And what we can say here is that volume two is equal to two times volume one. And if that's the case, and we go back to PV equals NRT, and since T stays the same, we can then say that P times V is equal to a constant, which means that P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. And since V2 changes, that means pressure 2 has to change as well. So P2 is equal to P1 times the ratio of V1 over V2. And that's equal to P1 times. Now V2 is twice V1, so that's V1 divided by 2 V1. And that cancels out. So that means that pressure 2, therefore, is 1 half pressure 1. So what does change is that now the gas takes up twice the volume, and therefore the pressure inside the gas has dropped to 1 half of what it was before. But other than that, there's no changes in the thermodynamic state of the gas in a free expansion. And that's how you do that.